In this video I'm going to cover how to upgrade your game to Unity 6 and also the specifics that you need to change for Cinemachine to work with the latest versions. So let's take our game here and let's drive our tutorial. And the editor version, let's change it into Unity 6 LTS, the latest one. And press open with Unity well, 6. And then just press change version. And let it stay like that for a while. And uh, now we get this question. Your project has been saved with a different version. Just hit continue. And then we will let Unity do its uh, magic. Okay, so now the update process has asked us about uh, script editing consent here. So we just hit yes for these and other files that might be found later. Okay, now the upgrade process is completed and we got this message about European material upgrade. So just hit okay and let it upgrade. Okay, now we have a message about deprecated packages. So let's just hit open packet manager. Okay, so we can see that our Visual Studio Code editor is deprecated, has a warning here. So let's hit remove and uh, just remove. So then it's gone. Then let's close our package manager here, close tab. And uh, now if we look at the console, we have the and warning here, the project currently uses the compatibility mode, uh, render graph API, and uh, it says that, okay, go into edit project settings, graphics, render graph. So let's change that project settings and let's go to graphics and graphics is already selected here. And uh, then we have a render graph. So let's uncheck that and then our error will disappear and close tab and we can just hit the clear. Okay, so now the upgrade process is completed, but we need to uh, set up Cinemachine, the latest version, because we're now using Cinemachine 2, and latest version is Cinemachine 3. 3. So let's go into our package manager, Windows, and then package manager, and then let's find our Cinemachine, and uh, here we says, okay, update to 3.1.3. Uh, so let's hit that button. And if you look at the manual, it says that, okay, do you really need to upgrade because 2.x uh, is going to be uh, uh, continued. Uh, however, this is a almost brand new project. So the effort of upgrading is very small. So let's just uh, let it run. And uh, then let's uh, close our tab here. And then on our virtual camera, uh, we can see that, okay, it's running the deprecated version and there is a button saying upgrade now. So let's hit that upgrade now and select the option one, convert this object to a Cinemachine camera. And uh, yeah, because we have a instance here in the scene. So this is the option we want to use. So let's hit that one and boom. The upgrade is completed. So it's not very much to do for us because we're not um, really using any coding uh, for for it. Uh, but if you have just started this tutorial and you're on Unity 6, these are the settings. So let's go through the Cinemachine 3.0 settings. So we have uh, our Cinemachine camera and uh, the, it's tracking the target car base. And uh, the setting that we have is position control is going to be follow. And uh, it has a Cinemachine follow lock to target with world up with an offset of minus 1.7. And then we have the Cinemachine D occluder, which has a camera collision detection and it uh, uh, has a transparent layer of nothing. And uh, check avoid obstacles and strategy is pull camera forward. And uh, that should be it. So we, we can use this and uh, have uh, the occlusion work. So let's uh, hit play and just see that our game uh, still works. All right, so now we can run our game uh, again in uh, Unity 6 and crash and, well, no, the crash worked. And we, we can restart with the R button. So, project is upgraded. Uh, that was a fairly simple process, but it's something that uh, a lot of people have uh, asked about. So, uh, this is uh, how you upgrade to Unity 6. I'd like to give a shout out to our Patreon supporters. It helps us with every single contribution that we can get. So, please consider supporting us on Patreon. The link is in the description. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.